So I can eat this and that. Oh yeah. This should do the trick. Oi. All I have to do is load, the, load that thing on the boat, right? What are you talking about? You need to attach a stabilizer to keep the auto gyro from spinning out of control. I don't get it, but just hurry it up, okay? Time to get to work. <laughs> Whew, Stucky, I'm done. It's hovering. See, all you do is load, on, load on the boat. Negative. So why the dramatic standing and staring off to the distance? So this is it. Never expected our encounter to turn out like this, did you, Surge? Why were we born? Why do we live? I don't have an existential crisis right now, jeez. That's what we're going to find out with our own eyes. How? That has nothing to do with this. Alright, let's go. Yes. Don't worry, this isn't the uh, end of the game. You can still leave once we get up there. Let's do it! Not in front of Starkey. We don't need to traumatize the poor little thing. Alright then. That was easy. Okay then, so we're up here. Now, let's get rid of Starkey and bring back Christina. Remove all. No, no, we still need to keep Starkey for a little bit. But I will unequip these, because we don't need them. Okay, so what we're going to do right now is get Starkey's ultimate technique. And with that, that'll be the last character to have their, their technique. Uh, the last character to get a tech. Uh, all the other characters all have their ultimate techs. I allocated kids to her a while ago, so yay! I should also reallocate uh, Surge. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Up there. There we go. Double tone. Oops, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Okay. And let's give him a another recover all. That's where the uh, kid has something as well now. Let me uh I'll get her real quickly. An eight. Magma burst. Wunderba. Now let's go get uh, Starkey's ultimate tech. I really wish that we could have gone down here earlier to uh, get it when we were going to get everyone else's, and that we didn't have to get it by coming back down here or coming down here twice, or that when we came down here the first time, Starkey went, "Ooh, I could use this." But no, he had a. God, God damn it. He had to focus solely on the anti-gravity thing. Oh well. Let's actually check out some of Starkey's uh, texts. I haven't seen them in ages. Starlight, call Starman Guardian down to do special attack MK1 or Mach 1. 
That thing on the left, <laughs> that thing's disturbing. And uh, Sprig can't turn into it. He summons a mech. <laughs> you gotta love it. It's actually a pretty cool looking mech too. I'm gonna pull off uh, both of Starkey's ultimate, or both of Starkey's techs. So we can get a good look at those. Yeah, that weapon is the uh, same one Mega Starkey had. I've actually fought this thing um, in the Bend of Time by accident. I thought this was something you could only find on uh, Terra Tower. Apparently, I was wrong. Call Starman Guardian to special attack in, uh, Mark II. Alright! Starburst! Welcome back. Shite. And it look, that looks like a group attack too. Doo -doo -doo. I need the Mega Grunty song to play there. If I had it, I would. If I had a copy of my, uh, if I still had the copies of G, I probably would have recorded it too. He just played it over there. I don't see any other enemies. There are two puffers after me, though. I'll puff you. Or fill you, fish. I love Japan. I'm not a big fan of sushi or sashimi. I will never try fugu. No way. My luck, I'll get the poison piece. Alright, Starkey. Starkey, I wonder if Starkey can find anything else. Whee! Hmm, only junk. Wow! So this is where it was. Starstruck. Easy does it. Okay, then. So now Starkey's ultimate tech, which leaves us with everyone's ultimate tech, except for the characters we don't have. May they rest in peace. Right. Lindaba. And now we make our way up. I'm gonna try uh Starstruck on one of these guys probably. Yep. Uh because they got in the way and I don't wanna wait. Are there two or just one? Just one. Zap, zap, zap. Boop. Alrighty then. Let's check out Starstruck. Cog Sarman Guardian do special attack MK3. Mach 3. Alrighty then. Oh god. <laughs> All I can think of is Gurren Logan with that. <laughs> if you've seen the anime, you know why. Ah, uh, Gurren Logan, such a weird show. It went from one thing I expected it to be, to something else, to something else entirely, to something I expect I could probably understand more if I was, you know, on shrooms or something. And the artwork just went all over the bloody place. Amazing anime, but weird as all hell. To be fair, I also grew up on Footy Goodies, so... <laughs> Um, and I love that anime, and that's... I can't describe Foodie Goody. I don't know how to. <laughs> amazing anime. Amazing, amazing anime. Go Haru Haru Haruko. But still... Wow. Okay, then. Now let's bring out our party members. Get in the circle. Okay then. Change you for Stina. There we go. How many bits do I have to make a, to do a get a spectrum? I need 
me an ember, dew, leaf, and salt if I want to make something special. Um, we are going to come across some um, uh, spectral level stuff here, such as Janice's only other weapon, the beta carotene, and a spectral glove. Um, I'm actually going to be dismantling that spectral glove so I can create Surge's Spectra Swallow that I can use later on. And New Game Plus. I'll probably end up using the glitch over and over again to make it. To make multiple stuff. Anywho. The orchard lands have dried up and withered. Is it your will to choose destruction? Keep in mind, we are in the natural equivalent of Chronopolis here. This is a futuristic city purely nature-based. So their guards are made out of natural materials, such as this creature, whose original name was Doll Clay. Um, if you want to steal, you have a chance of getting a yellow brooch or a earth charm. These guys also have the ultimate spell. The ultimate spell of their innate. This guy has Omega Yellow. You do not want to get hit by Omega Yellow. Omega Yellow will fuck you up. Also, if you did not get the chance to um, get any of the summons, these guys use them. Um, the uh, summons you don't get from the dragons. Like, this guy will cast gold. Unless you already have it. Like I do. So I don't have to worry about that. I just already got rid of that. And, aggravatingly, you can't turn into them. They also use their element's version of healing spells. So he'll use Capsule, the red one will use uh, Tablets, and so on and so forth. They also believe I have. I believe they have two turns, uh, two attacks per turn. I should have equipped a yellow plate to someone. Fuck. Pilfa. Let's see if we can get that Earth Charm. Come on, Earth Charm. Earth Charm. Earth Charm. Damn you. Oh well. Boom. Boom. And it's dead. <laughs> These guys aren't that difficult. That these have like 2,000 HP. He had 2,200. Pathetic, really, when you come in, when you think about it. Hardly counts as a boss, really. I mean, the Wingipede gave me more trouble than this thing. But we still get stars, which is nice. And we also get field spells. Unfortunately, there's no um, white field or black field. It just doesn't exist in the game. At all. So, we can't get them. Kind of annoying, but eh, what can you do? Your shower. Alright then. Onwards and upwards. Alright, let's lower this. These enemies are kind of weird. <clears throat> um, you'll probably see why once, once we get into a fight with one of them. It's almost impossible to avoid them. Almost. But you do not have my epic dodging skills. I am so freaking ninja. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just remembered a uh, really, really bad incident where I said that and immediately fucked up. <laughs> Um, it was a game. I'm not sure which game it was. Obviously it was a game, but... Uh, what game was that? It was a ninja game, I know that much. I think I was doing a Tenchu game when I still had one. But, uh, I was trying to be all ninja, but... Yeah, failed horribly. I know there's something hidden uh, up, up along these upper stairwells. Stairwells. That chest over there to the left, by the way, is the Beta Carotene. Not see any chest. There really no chest there? There's one there was. Hmm. Ah, damn you. I'll have to fight it eventually. But, eh, okay, no. Alright. So... Look at the enemy. You'll see two little things inside of it. 
they are of the uh, blue and red innate uh, 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 attributes. If you do not kill the terror, the terror, terror before that, before they come out, they'll just start casting spells like crazy. Great time to level up Pip or evolve Pip if you have yet to do it. I'm gonna try and kill it before it gets a chance to. I already failed. Damn it. Come on, die. I don't want to deal with those little fuckers. Thank God. They're called ectoplasms, and they're annoying as all hell. Or cytoplasms. I just don't want to deal with them. But we get nostrums, so... Just... This may be the last set. Holy shit. Got this. Nostrum. Eh, stick around. Shit, I'm gonna come this way. Let's wake it up. Is it? Yep, fuck. Went the wrong way. Now sneak past this Terra Terror. This Terra Terror. I guess I had it right the first time. So I can get up here. I believe the side on the left leads up to where the waterfall was. Yes, there's the enemy. That is the uh, enemy over there, by the way, the one that we need to uh, capture. Okay. There's another one. Yes. Come here, you. I'm gonna kill you. Alright, uh, come on. There we go. Come on. Oh god, the owl. Hoot hoot. Or hoot. 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 Whatever. Alright, Sprig now has it. So let's mark that off. All that's left are the three hidden bosses. The Keisha Dragoons and a Wingapede. Hm. Now, I remember there's something special about this guy, but I can't remember what it was. Hoot. Let me check him out real quickly. Oh, right! You can steal a trashy tar tiara from them. Not to transform into them? What? My list didn't have him. Yeah. Guess I can turn into him now. My little list didn't have that fucker. Alright. Yeah, right. Then do the other characters I can turn into as well? That is. No, nope, can't. Okay. There was something else special about some of these enemies, but I can't remember what they were. I guess I'll uh, remember it once I see them again. But like of a, oh right type of moment. Or three sets later in a completely different Let's Play, I'm gonna go, that was it! Angel Charms! Right! Angel Charms! I can dismantle that for some amazing shite. Those are the um, stuff I can dismantle to make um, uh, the white stuff. The, uh, the salt. White stuff. <laughs> Ew. What is up in here? Nothing! Fascinating. Sorry. Maybe being a bit of a dick. Now, I believe, if I'm remembering correctly, and I generally do with these type of things, that chest in the upper left is filled with a pack of lies. Which, <laughs> I know. I love some of these weapon names. Um, is a card deck for Sneff that is his uh, spectral level weapon. But once everyone puts their weight on it, this thing breaks, so... Ah. We need to come down here. Surge. 
surge. You finally made it this far, Surge. What was that? Are you a human? When I was still human, I was locked up here, and I have been here ever since. The tower is a fortress belonging to the ancient reptites, a symbol of revenge brought against mankind by, hum by the dragons. Uh, with the defeat of fate, the seal has been broken and this tower has surfaced. In the eyes of the dragons, we humans are the foes. A brain that was developed abnormal, abno, uh, abnormally to three times the original size of, in the span of three million years. We humans have evolved at an enormous rate because of our contact with Lavos' flame. In a sense, mankind is Lavos' offspring. We humans are extrene extraneous to this planet. How? How will you fight, sir? Now, how will you fight, sir? A uh, fun little side note. Um, there are a lot of theories about this prisoner. I think he reminds me of Wazuki. I doubt it's him. Um, the main, the main, pro, uh, pro, uh, the main theory is that he is a unlockable character that was meant to appear, but removed due to um, probably data space or something. Or it just doesn't make sense to give, give you a new character this late in the game. Which makes a lot of sense. Um, this theory mostly comes from a abandoned bit of script involving um, unlocking a character prisoner. Something like that. I'll have to look into it more for that, but pretty interesting. Alright, now let's give this to Sneff. Where is he? There he is. Sneff. Private deck. Uh, the function of these cards is a secret. And the pack of lies, the function of these cards is unbelievable. Yeah! So yeah, those are his, um... Prism tier, spe or prism tier, yeah, spectral tier, uh, signature weapons. As I mentioned before, there are a lot of characters that have signature weapons. Sneff happens to be one of them. Alright. I stay up towards the top. If I don't, I fall down. Defender Plus. Pardon me. There we go. I would probably normally fight all these guys just to get the Angel Charms, but meh. Don't want to deal with that right now. I want to wait for him to get out of the way so I don't have to deal with him. Get up there, get up there. Rainbow Shell, yes. No, 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 don't want to deal with you, don't want to deal with you. Alright, now it's going to go away, right? I will kill you, motherfucker. How do I get over there again? I'm trying to remember how to get to that uh, opening on the right, because that's the that's the path to the beta carotene. Yeah. Oh, close. Found it. I'm just kind of curious what the uh, difference between this weapon and Sneff's weapon are as well. Take a look at Sneff. Sneff. Things to back the cars that change for him. Now for Janice, where are you? I'll look at that. I'll compare the two once we get done with this. But yeah, carotene. All right, Janice, where are you at? There she is. So it's just a little carrot. Looks like a plushy carrot, actually. Beta carotene. Not bad. A very large carrot reinforced with some rainbow shell. Shit. And it is different. Oh, sh 
by actually being prismic. That's interesting. I've never actually used um, uh, Janice after giving her the beta carotene. Sadly, I actually dismantle the fucking thing every time I get it because I don't use Janice. Sort of a why should I keep her or keep her ultimate weapon if I don't use her? But honestly, it's pretty much just, I can pretty much defeat my own argument by going why do I keep you know? Um, or what do I get? Uh, Quistus is uh, save the queen when I never use her in uh, Final Fantasy VIII or Snefs and yeah, shit like that. I can get hit hand split. Like I said, I do not want to deal with those fucking things. Let's take a quick look at the cytoplasm, though, so I can tell you about it. Didn't mean to do it that way. Uh, you can steal strengthens from them, and they drop nostrums. About it. Things with extra health, though. Ooh, a defender. Great. I got a defender plus. Which is slightly better. Not that much, really. Oh, shite. Alright, let's do it. Hiya! I'm gonna kill you now. Don't split. <laughs> it's like, don't you do it! Slash! And... Dead. Yes. Okay, then. Now, I'm probably gonna go and ba uh, battle the hidden bosses, now that we have this place unlocked. Because... The only time you can access the hidden boss is if you, um... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? If you have been to every single possible area that, uh, you can fight enemies in. So I'm gonna go check that out. Let's, uh, open these pathways first. And now so I can get back up here when I want to. Yay! Now I'm gonna check to make sure I have the area unlocked. I'm not 100% sure yet. Because it's been, uh, quite a while since I last been there. Okay, let's save. Now you're all wondering, where in the hell can you find new enemies? We've been everywhere. At least those who are new to the game. For those that don't remember, or don't know, there is one place that we've yet to be in, inside of. It all matters if... It only matters if we have the last shaft of light unlocked. And that should be enough to tell you where we're going. Straight to the bend of time. Okay. No, I haven't unlocked yet. I think I'm about to beat the game to unlock it. It's kind of annoying. So I guess we'll come back here later. It's okay, not much of a problem. It probably unlocks when we, uh... Oh, I think I know what it unlocks. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. I will be back later. Yeah, I, th I think I know what it unlocks. We probably have to get to the top of this tower and beat the boss. Fucking fight that's coming up. Dear God. Ugh. I'm sorry. I'm remembering the boss fight coming up. Oh, God. It's not that it's hard, really. Giggity. It's just very, very long. Yeah. <laughs> that's what she said. Excuse me? Yeah, pretty much every enemy here drops, uh, Angel Charms. Or something along those lines. 
Let's see what... What do these guys drop? Q points. That's what they're called. They drop... Stardust... No, no, Wing Shoes or Pansy. Yeah, wing Shoes, what does that do? Feather and Mithril. Evade plus 18. Fuck that noise. And they will common steal a Stardust Cape. Meh. And a Rare Steer Pansia. They're really not worth the hassle. Do I still have my, uh, sunglasses equipped, or do I still have the figure me up on? Okay, good. Hi! Have, uh, many have ble bled and suffered and perished. It's your turn to die. Bring it. I kicked your friend's ass not too long ago. <laughs> what makes you think you're any better? I love this one's design. I'm sorry. Uh, this is Doll Magma. Oh god, I love the centaur looks. There are so few games that have centaurs in them, and when they have them, I love them. Okay, let's kill it. This is also technically a dragon-type creature. So yeah. Uh, you can steal a red brooch or a flame charm from it, so, yeah. I'm gonna steal something, right? come on. Flame charm. Flame charm. Flame charm. Cocksucker. Ultra Nova, get rid of that red shit field. <laughs> New. No. Like any enemy that has a strong affinity towards uh, any innate element, you do not want its field <laughs> when you're fighting it. Unless you can summon it, use the summon to attack it, and it won't absorb it. This thing will absorb any fire attack, so fuck that noise. Tablet. <laughs> That's like what, um... Uh, using a band-aid to try and seal the gap in a dam? Oh shit, three times. Okay, it's like using super glue to fix it. Okay, uh, hide your shadow. Why not? God, I love this girl. Stina's awesome. Boop! 310. That should be more than enough. Shit, it wasn't. This will. <laughs> I love it. I'm sorry. I just love it whenever I go BAM! 450. Or whatever it was. The high level elements always make me laugh uh, uncontrollably. <clears throat> Sometimes cackle demonically. Both of which are very fun. Remember, if you're ever feeling, feeling down, just start d uh, cackling demonically. You'll feel better. And people will leave you alone. Especially if you do it while staring at someone. Just look them dead in the eye and start laughing un uncontrollably. Pardon moi. Going up here. I believe the one at the top is the Spectral Glove. Yeah, that's the Rainbow Shell. They want you to make Spectral shit, because they know what's coming up. It's also why some of these fights almost encourage uh, you using summons. Alrighty then, so let's get that Spectral Glove. I will fight you. And I will kill you. Oh, let's see if I can actually get through here without getting touched. I always get, uh, get into a fight at least once while here. Yeah, I did it! Awesome! It's very tricky to get through that without getting hit. Yes! This place. This place has something really nice that is very easy to, uh, miss. Nope, not that. Well, that rainbow shell, too, because it, it disappears after a while. Pardon me. But this chest is very easy to miss, and you don't want to, because it has holy healing. Holy fuck, Batman. You want that. Because... Holy healing, innate color white only, restores all HP and uh, removes status effects. That's the... You know what? I think we could use a good reset. 
And it fully restores your HP, meaning if you're at one health and you use that, max health. I don't think it, it acts as a revive, though, but, you know. <laughs> Why would you need it at that point? Actually, that'd be really good as a revive as well, but then that'd be kind of broken. Yeah, screw you, man. Alrighty then. And time for exposition. Could this be? Viper Manor? What's going on? See, I mentioned earlier that, uh... I'll, they'll mention it a little bit. You'll see. Dots. Now, before we talk to, uh, the Prophet... We're gonna go up here, because it's a chest. Make sure you get this before leaving this air this room. Because um, if you don't, um, this area becomes blocked off and you can't come back here. And this just has a black hole in it. Kind of suiting for some reason, you know? It, it, it the ultimate natural destruction, a black hole, is found in the ultimate natural fortress. Yo. Welcome. It's good to see you finally made it here. I've been expecting you, Serge. Where are we? Is this Viper Manor? This is a space that does not exist. But don't mind that. <laughs> More importantly, I have something I must explain to you. Exposition! Who are you? Oh, my name is Balthazar. If you remember, they mentioned him a few times. Uh, one other thing is... Um, oh, they'll explain some of this. I'll explain it if they don't. In the ancient magical kingdom of Zeal, I was known as a sage for a reason. A, sa a sage of reason. Well, that was up until the Queen of Zeal attempted to harness the power of Lavos. Let's just say things got out of control and Lavos created a dimensional vortex that threw me far into the future. There, I seized the opportunity to study the science of the future. I was then able to apply to the, uh, apply to that no the knowledge I brought from my own era, including magic, which was long lost in the future. Anyway, this led me to make a huge pro make huge progress in, my, in the research of time. Well, the research led to the creation of Chronopolis and to the time crash. You might think I really blew it, but it was it, uh, but perhaps it was really my finest hour. <laughs> anyway, I created a compact time machine that I dubbed the Neo Epoch. I used it to, t to travel or to time warp to this age to, to learn of Chronopolis and Fate's plans and to see how things were turn turning out. That's the, uh, the epoch I mentioned in the, his basement. <clears throat> Terra Tower is really a, ca a city of the reptites form from, an uh, from another dimension's future. It was originally Dinopolis, the castle of Azayla's descendants who achieved an evolution much more intimate with our planet. Then Opolis was drawn into the dimensions past about 10,000 years ago. That was, uh, this was done so that it would serve as a counterbalance against Chronopolis, which Lavos pulled here. Was this already explained? Needs to say, a fierce battle ensued. In the end, Chronopolis emerged as the victor, and the Reptite's fortress was sealed away by fate. But more importantly, now is the role of the dragons... Uh, but more importantly, now is the role the dragons played in all of this. Originally, the whole archipelago of El Nido was known as the Sea of Eden. This was because it was where the dragon gods resided. But then fate sealed, sealed away the dragon's powers and effect becoming a god itself. Thus the island where the new godhead, fate, existed came to be called the Sea of Eden instead. 
Perhaps you didn't realize it, but you were used by the Dragon Gods to eliminate fate. It was not true that the Dragon Gods sealed away the Frozen Flame. Rather, it's quite the opposite. It was fate that used the power of the flame to seal up the Dragon Gods. In reality, the Dragon Gods are in opposition to man, while the fate itself was actually the protector of humanity. The Dragon Gods were originally a singular plasma life force, a living accumulation of the planet's energy. Originally, it was a biomechanical machine used to control the powers of nature and the future society of the reptites. In order to control the nature and the natural energy itself, fate divided one the one dragon god entity up into six plasma life forms, and scattered them across the island and sealed them away. The dragon-like appearance are just a pseudo guys, temporary forms that they that had, uh, so they can appear in our in this dimension. But all 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 that changed when fate was vanquished and it was power head was eliminated, power hold was eliminated. At that moment, the seven dragons who had been rendered almost powerless and forgotten Fuck that noise, the dra the fire the red dragon, damn. Uh, they traveled across the dimensions to reunite into a single entity. Seven dragons? I thought there were only six. There were six dragons you knew of, and one more hidden dragon you didn't. Like the second moon that was that once was lost, but later was found. Although the same planet, my world didn't have two, two moons. Look up at the night sky now and you will see seven celestial bodies, five stars and two moons. Five brother stars that correspond to the five colored elements, ruling like gods over the night skies. One moon that corresponds to the white sky dragon, and another darker daughter moon to counterbalance them. The fire dragon, the water dragon, the green dragon, the earth dragon, the black dragon, and sky dragon. And one more. The final dragon. The Dark Moon Dragon. I love that name. The one who was to work to free the other dragons from their bondage by the fake computer. The child... Sorry, I'm in a lot of breath. The child the others created on the night of the electric storm that temporarily caused fate to loosen its hold on them. I believe you know her as... Harley. Guess I kind of spoiled that. Unbelievable! The Dragon Gods were the essence of nature on the planet. On this planet. Perhaps we, would, we can consider what's happening as our planet's vagrants, uh, vengeance on us. To finally sweep away the unwanted humans from the, the face of this blue planet. First it was fate, now it's the planet. Or vice versa. But either way you look at it, now it's the time to set things right. Excuse me, I'll take a quick drink from my throat. It's getting really parched. Huh. Huh. The future of mankind, the destiny of this planet, everything needs on, uh, depends on the next battle you will fight. But unfortunately, the time for us to, co to part has come. Hey mister, is that the Chrono Cross you guys have there? The Chrono Cross, the melody and harmony. It has the power to cross space and time and unify people's thoughts and feelings. It has the power to transfer memories. By using it as an element, it has the power to draw on the sound of the six colored elements to produce a healing harmony. It has the power to combine the sounds of the world into one melody. I'm sure we'll meet again, soon, in one, one time period or another. Be careful now, and good luck. God damn. That really hurt my throat. Hold oh, that exposition. Onwards. So yeah, Harley is the uh, the dragon of the black moon, the uh, the moon from uh, the Dragonite's future. So yeah, pretty interesting, huh? Remember this order, by the way. These crystals when they light up. I guess you can't really see it. This sound becomes important. Uh, we'll find out more about it uh, in the upcoming fight. Come on. There we go. I really hate running along the side of those, that wall because it feels really awkward. But down here... Ultra Nova. Yes.
Let's equip it. Too ultra nervous. <laughs> Yeah, then. You already know the elemental color order. Um, oh crap, I didn't mention the Creo Six battle. Shit. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> um, I think I'll put an annotation up about it. If I remember to. Hi! Return our trees. Get back our green forests. No! I need chopsticks. Okay, so what are you? <coughs> Sorry. You are. and mentor? Obviously, it's gonna be a uh, dull wind. Um, green brooch or forest charm? If you're lucky. It's still funny, these guys are technically considered dragons. This is technically utterly pointless. <laughs> he can see our HP now. It doesn't really help him much, though. So, uh, let's get rid of that, shall we? Holy light. Fun fact, though, um, I love this. If you use a summon trap, the jar actually pops up and appears right at the bottom, or right in the center of that uh, uh, dragon emblem on the ground. It's really cool. Nice placement. Steel. I'll eventually use Hotshot. I know I will. <laughs> Come on, Force Charm. Damn you! Oh well. Bring it. <laughs> Two. <laughs> That's adorable. It's the tag and like, I'm gonna hurt you, and we're just like Come on. That may hurt. Cause it was a full uh color. Ah, oh, shit. Sorry whoever it hits. That's gonna hurt. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, that is the uh, o one of the Omega spells. Um, each of them actually look very different. I've actually uh, cheated and gave them into uh, Surge's uh, elemental list before. Those fucking things hits hard. Bye-bye. It's so cool it dies with wind. I believe the uh, the fire one and the earth one also died similar. The earth one just, just disintegrated like stone. The other one uh, burnt up. Really cool. Nice little touch. Greenfield! Yes! Onwards and upwards! I'm actually about to hit a save spot, so I'm going to stop recording until my recorder recharge, because it's been going for a while. Actually, it seems to be running just fine, so I may keep going. Surge, up there! That must be the summit! Look! Those two beams are coming from either side. I wonder if they act as some kind of ceiling device. Oh, that'd be interesting. Come on, get in the circle. Get in the triangle. There we go, jeez. Okay, dismantle weapons. That. Eh, I don't really need it. All these are for other characters I'm going to get later on, so that's why I have them. Back of lines, beta carotene, yeah. 
Sword Weapon, Spectre Swallow. You know, for the future. Alright, so I'm gonna let my recorder re rest for a little bit, and I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> 